put it in race pro one there we go and man it's this thing will jerk the front wheel off the ground at any any speed i'm going to do a one year review on my m1000r it's a 23 model i'm going to tell you some stuff about it some stuff that i liked and some stuff that i didn't like i'm going to be honest with you so stick around you don't want to miss it we've got some group ride footage coming we're headed to a group ride you don't want to miss this This is one thing I don't like about it. Boy, it drinks gas, and you have to have the key to open the uh, open the uh, gas cap. Put some liquid gold in this, and we'll get going here. Oh. Whoo, get going back here. Headed to this group ride. Man, it's going to be interesting today. Get this glove on. See if we got this GPS going here. Here we go. Man, I tell you what, I got this bike actually like the 1st of April last year. And man, what a joy this bike has been. Now, there's some there's some pics with it. Let me make sure. Yep, we got a good view of everything. There's some pics with it, like the gas cap, which I know, which I know is not a big deal for people. Um, the biggest pick for me was the price, but I guess you, you have to expect that when you're buying a $27,000 bike with carbon wheels and all this carbon. There is a piece of, and I don't know if you can see that right there. I'm gonna have to turn that in. It looks like the clear is coming off the uh, the carbon. It's underneath that that little screw right there. But man, the things, I'm gonna go over the goods first because I need to think for just a second on the bads. The goods, the brakes are unbelievable. These M brakes, I don't know who makes them for BMW. If you know, leave, leave a comment uh, in the comment section. These brakes are unbelievable. You've got adjustable levers right here, clutch and clutch and uh, brake duh the uh, MPEGs on it are totally adjustable up and down I mean everything is adjustable I will tell you the mirrors are a little bit buzzy after about 70 mile an hour I've actually got a brand tune on this and I've got a brand tune discount code uh, in the description of this video that'll save you a bunch of money uh, but man, they sent me a Brentune for this, a Stage 1. And man, I thought this bike was ugly before. But this bike, you know, I remember as a kid, like I had a, I think it was an 84Z28. And and I had to get a, get a flash for it, man. Make it faster. Y'all tell me if y'all remember this or have ever dealt with this kind of stuff. And you get a flash for it and you really... Uh, maybe you could tell, but I don't know. Uh, maybe you could tell, maybe you couldn't, but I will tell you one thing. When you flash a motorcycle, especially a Brentoon that's 50 state legal, and I don't know how he does that, but he does it. Man, you talk about waking up a bike, and you'll, you'll pay a little bit more uh for his flashes but you'll find out you get what you pay for so there's a link in the uh, description of this video and you can use ray bowden rides as your discount code they'll save you a bunch of money but man this bike handles so well we're in dynamic mode now you can go in and set up modes as far as suspension so this is going to be funny to y'all but uh I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it anyways. I've got my Cadillac mode or my my Bentley mode, and I'm, I'm gonna show you something here in a minute. Let me get stopped here. I'm gonna put it in Race Pro 1. Put it in Race Pro 1, there we go. And man, it softens this suspension up. Look at that. And it's too soft. But I want all the speed, and I know y'all are gonna beat me up in the comments. Leave a comment what you think. 
this thing will jerk the front wheel off the ground at any any speed i mean this bike actually truth be told is probably too much horsepower for the street i've got a bunch of videos that i've done this year at plano kawasaki suzuki aprilia and I've, I've rode a bunch of bikes and it's been quite a while since I've been on this bike. It's got like 1,700 miles on it. But it's been cold here in Texas. But man, you can have just as much fun. The clutchless shifting, I would never buy another bike without it. I, I guess I would if you could add it. Well, I'm always looking in my mirrors to make sure nobody's going to run up on me. I heard a story the other day about a guy that lost his foot and he was he was at a red light and a car ran over him lost his foot now he's trying to figure out how to ride and uh, they actually make some stuff i think it was his right foot so he got a little bit luckier but that's that's not luck at all but anyways getting back to the review of this bike this bike, it's an expensive bike, $27,000. Yes, it's got carbon wheels, they look cool. I'm very, very particular on where I ride this bike. Like, there's a highway here in Dallas, 35, and toward downtown, uh, toward downtown, there are some huge potholes, but, well, I tell you what, I, I love mirrors, but I always look just to double check. But man, this thing, the brakes on it, it'll stop on a dime and leave you nine cents change. I mean, it is just awesome. And the way this thing will come out of a corner is just unbelievable. You'll be leaned over and it will carry the tire. If, if you want to do that, I mean, it's, a, it's kind of a... See that i mean it just will carry that time this thing is freaking brutal to be honest with you unless you have a lot of control over that right hand you'll you're probably going to get hurt on this bike and i tell you what i've got a lot of restraint but i've one time i was riding in a group ride and got on it a little bit to go through the you know to move around and it, it just makes up time and distance and speed so fast it's kind of, it's, it's hard for your brain to relate to it but man the suspension has been awesome uh this morning or yesterday when i went out and wiped the bike down to go to this this big group ride and you can stick around it's probably going to be a little chaotic this is a like one of the first of the year group rides here in Dallas, Texas. And I'm sure it's gonna be cray cray. But uh, I did notice that on my forks, you know where your forks, you, you'll compress them. And it looked like, I don't know, I'm gonna check it after I ride today. Look like I might have a fork seal leaking. I, I don't know. Both of them were the same. And maybe it's just dust it's collected down there but it was a pretty good amount i mean i wiped it off and i was like huh but like i said it's been quite a while since i've rode this bike i'll tell you a bike that pretty much will do the same thing that's not as fast uh and i did a review on it is the gss gsx s 1000 and man that bike's a 150 horsepower bike. I could almost bought th three of them for what I paid for this bike, but it's a GSX-R uh, 1000, basically. Uh, it's a, a sport naked bike. And for 11.6, you can't beat it. I've actually been thinking about buying one of those and putting a TFT screen on it because it's got a, uh, it's got the older GSX-R screen on it, which I could, I could probably call that co that company AIM, I think it is, and I'll show you a picture of it, and they'll probably send me one if I do a video on it. 
the suspension is unbelievable these wings i know they look some people like them some people don't anybody that likes motorcycles they look super cool do they work yeah they really do i, I honestly believe they do and i've rode this bike real fast i mean not 180 but over 130 in mexico and you can tell it's planting the bike there was an issue with these bikes when they first uh, started coming out that i heard um, where there was a high speed wobble i have not really incurred that but i i believe it because this thing is making so much power uh that it's just carrying the front wheel at all times the wheelie control the bmw wheelie control is unbelievable i mean you can set that wheelie control and it's it's exact i mean low wheelie high wheelie no wheelie <laughs> i mean the wheelie control on these bmws is unbelievable but uh let's change that screen out that's another thing i love action not only available stopped oh okay man i tell you what it's been a while since i've rode this so it's uh it's kind of all new to me it's kind of a, a good day to do a review on this bike it's got like 1700 miles on it i've changed the oil i'm running the bmw oil in it the Brent tune i had him lower he said ray where do you want your fan temp at i had him lower it the hottest this bike's ever got and that's when it was like 106 here in dallas was uh i think it was 210 211 let's see here oh okay okay let's go here and see what we're running now it's not hot here it's running 199 degrees the tft is gorgeous on this bike this has actually got your uh oh gotta pay attention here this bike's actually got tire pressure monitor sensors i mean it should for what it costs this bike is extremely fast stock but flashed it's like a new bike i mean I did put a pipe on it. I put an M4 uh, header on it and kept the stock can. And, and you hear the bike. And with the Brentune, uh, the, the backfire and the pops, I could actually turn them off if I go to a different mode. Let me see here. Kind of need to pay attention here. Okay let's go to i think it's road mode okay you can uh oh this guy this is the kind of road that i always worry about the uh carbon wheels on right here hold on just a minute let me make sure i'm not fixing to drive off in a pothole i don't know why i just worry about those wheels busting and i know they're tough and the guy at bmw told me right unless you just bust the curb and crash the bike BMW is going to stand behind those wheels. Y'all let me know if y'all have ever broke a carbon wheel. Uh, I tell you what, BMW's got a three-year factory warranty, so that's another plus with them. I did find out that there's a hundred, I think it's 133 dealers in the United States. Uh, BMW dealers, so they're not everywhere. I think 15% of them are in California and I'll put that that uh, information up here okay I just heard the fan come on let me see here if we can get back man there's so much stuff on this I can't even remember that's another thing there is so much so much tech on this bike it, it's hard to unless you ride it all the time uh, it, it, it's hard to remember all of it but dynamic traction control cruise control i would never buy another bike without cruise control i just i just well i say that i want one of those gsx 1000 suzuki's and it don't have cruise but let me see here the wings the suspension is unbelievable it's kind of a tall bike uh it's 
it's probably got a 30 I'm a 30 inch inseam and I've got about half my foot on the ground on both sides actually when I come up to a red light I usually just make sure I'm in first gear and just uh, put my left foot on the ground keep my right one up let's see here yeah let's let's go to whew. and that's another thing these brakes man they work good but with the anti-lock brakes yeah let's see if we can turn the pop i think it's road mode the pops go off the backfire i kind of like the backfire stuff though but man this thing handles the factory tires on the on this on this back are freaking awesome yeah no backfire in road mode with the Brenton. My one of my buddies, Chief, that rides with me, he's got an M1000 double R, and uh, oh, we better stop. And that I just felt the uh, front brake pulse, so that's the anti-lock brakes. Uh, well, let's turn the. Uh, we're going to go back to uh, Race Pro One. That's where I got my wheelie set. That that's that's my super cool mode, I guess. And I've got my suspension real soft on that. But hey, it's an awesome bike. 27 grand it ought to be. Three year warranty from the factory. The tires, I've got like 1,700 miles. Look like they're about halfway used. So I'm sure at about 3,500, 4,000, we're gonna have to replace them. Everything works really good. Uh, the mirrors are buzzy at about 70 mile an hour. The foot pegs are a little buzzy, like if you ride it for an hour, hour and a half straight, especially on a highway, my feet, my right foot will go to sleep. Now that may be just me, but the seating position, I was going to actually knock the seating position because my 2019 BMW uh, S1000R was a little bit more comfortable. This is a little bit more leaning forward. Uh, my feet are actually behind my hips. Uh, they're actually, if you look straight down from my hips, they're actually behind. So it's a little bit different seating position. And I'm sure it's just like the double R because this uses the same frame. But man, BMW knocked it out of the park with this bike. It's really too much bike for the street. Really? Uh... So, so hey anyways i hope you enjoyed it stick around the next part is going to be the screw ride and it's going to be real interesting i'm sure so uh stay with me and we get that going stay with me you don't want to leave it's good fixing to get fun man i tell you what this is going to be fun today i wonder how long this is going to last before something happens and it won't be lily's fault or the person having the ride it just it's just something that happens but look at the average age of this. These guys are, uh, I'll say, 23 to about 36. A lot of people here, man. Man, look at it. There's got to be 100, 125 people here. Maybe more. I don't know. But uh, all kind of bikes, man. A lot of Kawasaki's, a lot of Suzuki's. <laughs> I know that guy, cool guy, man. Uh, Harleys, everybody's just riding together, having a blast, man. What ain't nothing wrong? Oh, that's good looking. I like that. Here we go. Gonna be a lot of fun, man. They always try to tell everybody to take it easy. If you see yourself in this video. <laughs> Make sure and hit that like button, leave a comment which bike you were riding. Boy, it's going to be fun, fun. Thanks to uh, Lily and uh, a couple other people that put it together. Jeremy and I can't remember them all. But man, I used to do group rides. The motorcycle, the motorcycle uh, sport has grown so much since COVID. It's cool, cool to see. We're going to scoot in here. Man, there's a line all the way back to Texas Fitness bikes coming out. But we'll get y'all some good video. Still bikes coming. Oh! 
awesome day, man. I don't know how long I'm going to stay with them. But uh, if you see yourself in this video, make sure you hit that like button. So many different kinds of bikes. Super cool. A lot of, lot of Suzuki's, Kawasaki's, Hayabusa's, uh, a couple of Hondas. They're still, some of them don't even know we've left over there. 5,300 bikes. This is what the Dallas bike scene has become. I mean, there's so many new people in this sport. So many couples, a lot of women now. minutes worth of wheeling. I just, I think that's so cool. That beautiful Aprilia. Y'all gotta see this Aprilia. Hold on. This, look at this bike, man. That bike is done right. That is a good looking bike. Check this out. Now that guy had a vision for that bike and I mean if you can't see that coming I just love that man Kawasaki Suzuki Aprilia it, always in my description they'll do anything it takes to get you on a new bike a used bike they've got 60 month terms they've got 72 month terms I mean whatever it takes if there is any way if your credit score is not a 550 something like that I would imagine you're probably going to be able to get done but RS 660, man, those things are everywhere. They have gotten really popular. That is a super bike right there. I've rode one. I've got a test of it on my... It, I rode the Extrema, which is a little bit fancier uh, paintwork edition. It's got some carbon bits on it. It's got the uh, SC Project Pipe on it. A lot of girls riding today. There's one. Looks like she's on a CDR 300, I guess. She won't be on that for long. She'll outgrow that. Have to move up to a Ninja 500 or something. Have to get her on a Kawasaki or... But hey, she's out here having a blast. That's cool, man. Leave a comment. Have you seen a bunch more girls enter the sport this year? Surely you have. Look at this. Everybody... I mean, it don't. Look at it. If you've seen yourself in this video, make sure you like it. Uh, share it with, with somebody. 
that was in here. Man, look at that guy living under the bridge. I don't know if y'all can see him over there, but God, I feel sorry for that guy. It has been a blast today, man. I want to go all the way with them to the lake, but I've got to get home and do some family stuff. Man, look at them. Awesome group, man. Super cool. A lot of people out today, and the weather's just starting to turn off better. Man, make sure you uh, buy the bike, man. If you get a chance to buy a motorcycle, buy a motorcycle. It's the funnest thing you'll ever do. Well, I say that, I can think of one other fun thing to do, but maybe I'm too old for that. Just kidding. Hey, anyways, they're fixing to get going here. Jeremy there, really awesome ride. Uh, I'll show you the other Jeremy. Here they go. lot of bikes man awesome day I'm sure John Taylor would have wanted to be here he's probably doing something with his wife uh, Albert I didn't see Albert Albert's another big uh, ride guy so all of these people are super people man look at this this is what the bike scene has become in Texas and Dallas people since COVID they just want to get out man that's cool. Big Dream of Flames. I like that. There's another Big Dream. Must be a deal on Big Dreams. I know they're out of business, but... Anyways... I appreciate y'all riding with me. Make sure you uh, smash that like button, share it with somebody, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and we'll see you on the next one.